Tim is now 20 years old and he has a girlfriend and a little girl of his own. Tim walks in the door and comes staggering into the living room intoxicated. Sarah, his girlfriend, with a soft voice asks, Where were you? Why you don't trust me? Always asking where I've been. Never mind. Sarah, with more of a tone in her voice, replies, You missed your daughter's birthday, you idiot. Tim walks over and grabs Sarah by the neck. Sarah yells and tries to fight back. As Tim is choking his girlfriend, little Abby walks in the living room crying. Tim looks over at his little girl and gets a flashback of when he was a little boy. He looks over at his girlfriend who has tears running down her face. He slowly removes his hand and drops to his knees and begins to cry and apologizes. Sarah goes to little Abby and hugs her. She looks over at Tim. Her and little Abby slowly approach Tim and they all hug and cry as they are sitting on the floor. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Tim whispers, I'm going to change this. The next day, Tim is sitting at the kitchen table and tells his wife to come sit with him. He begins to tell her about his childhood and how he doesn't want little Abby to go through the pain and abuse he experienced at witnessed. Tim then goes on to explain to Sarah that he is going into treatment for his substance abuse and he gives Sarah a hug. Tim has now been sober for two years and the family is now living a healthy life and Sarah is expecting her second child. This cycle of family violence and abuse can be changed. It just takes one person to recognize it and be that change. <laughs>